Hello, teacher. Hi, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? How's everybody doing? Como están todos? Happy Monday. How are you guys? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hi, Carlos. Good evening. Hi, Ricardo. I also see Pedina. Uh, Danny, Natalie. Hello. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you guys? Everything good? Yeah. I'm very Santa, fine. He's ready for the class. And you, teacher? Okay, sounds super good. Yeah, uh, I think it's pretty good. It's been raining here. So I saw you viendo lights for some time, but I think I'm super good. Uh, I see also Jocelyn getting ready, Norberto, Jackie. Hi, Jackie. Super glad to hear. Glad to see you here. Hello, hello, Claribel, hello. Good. Hello, Miss. I see Guadalupe as well. So thank you. And Elizabeth. Hey, Elizabeth, thank you. Gracias por conectarse. Yo sé que está trabajando todavía. I totally understand that. So, uh, Pedrina, hey there. How are you? La vi bien tempranito. I saw you super early there. ¿Cómo estuvo su fin de semana? How was your weekend? Did you go to the stadium? Are you fan, fast in Alianza Fan or something? The ones from sad Santa Ana? Sad, sad, sad. Sad. <laughs> okay, okay. I see that. No, no, no champion, no champion. Yeah, so you, yeah, unfortunately you didn't get it. Anyways, uh, Danny, are you from, you are from Santa Ana, aren't you? Yes, yes. Did you see? Did you see the match? Uh, no, in, in the in the TV, I am watching um, uh, soccer match. Oh no, but it's TV. okay. You saw it. Okay. Are you a fast fan? Uh, uh, I am fan. Uh, is fast. Oh, yeah, I thought so. Yeah, because it's like, you know, the esa ciudad, right? Fast belongs to that city. But I'm super glad that you had a relaxing weekend, and, and I really hope you have a good one. So, Natalie, how was your weekend? Was it good? Well, look, how was it? Pedrina, what did you do? I, I, f I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, you forgot the activities you did? You forgot what you did? I I rested on Saturday. Okay, so uh, you rested on Saturday. Uh, uh, <laughs> so let's Oh my god. <laughs> but that's good. You have a okay, kind of selective memory. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> but the good thing is that you rested, so hopefully, you know, so you had a good time. Guadalupe, how are you doing, Guadalupe? Everything good? Fine, teacher. Fine. What did you do? What did you do on Saturday and Sunday? Um, I rest and I work on Saturday. You worked on Saturday, but you rested on Sunday. Yes. Ah, okay, very good. I rested today, so I'm like, oh, you know, <laughs> so it, it feels really good. It feels really nice. So I'm super happy to see you guys. Empezamos ahora la semana número dos. We are going to get started with week two. Les quiero agradecer por la, eh, las tareas, you know, like um, la puntualidad con las tareas, por ayudarme y completármelas, you know. I was checking, les fue súper bien. De igual forma vi que algunos ya están con la tarea número dos y algunos ya avanzaron hasta la tarea número tres, que es la semana tres, right? Um, so that's amazing. Si tienen un par de minutitos extra, eh, están en el lunch o se aburren de revisar Facebook, you know, tomen un par de minutitos, lo pueden hacer desde el teléfono. So se loguean, eh, completan los ejercicios y de esa manera no se les acumula y es un poco más fácil, right? A veces la computadora no es tan accesible como el teléfono. So that, that definitely sounds good. Uh, vamos a dar inicio, como siempre lo hacemos, con la asistencia. So si me ayudan con la camarita, son minutes, that would be amazing. Y me dan confirmación verbal que estamos por acá. Para que nos quede en la grabación de este día. So give me just a second. 
Let me open it up. Let me open the file. Okay. <clears throat> so my first person is Anna, but no veo Anna por ahí. Me confirma si eh, venga Anna. Anna Delmi. Quizás todavía no. Okay, uh, Brenda, Brian, and they're not here. Todavía. <laughs> todavía no han llegado. Carlos Bautista, ya escuché a Carlos, solo me da confirmación verbal, por favor. Hello, teacher. Thank Present. you very much. Gracias por la confirmación. Okay, uh, my next person is, let me see, I see Celia. Celia, creo que todavía no. Eh, Dani, Anthony. Anthony. Present. Thank you very much. Eh, Giovanni. Guadalupe. Solo Present, teacher. Regala. Gracias, Miss. Eh, Jacqueline, por ahí de a Jacqueline, solo me regala confirmación yeah. verbal. Hello, hello, thank you. Eh, Jocelyn. Yeah. Present teacher. Thank you, Jocelyn. Eh, Ignacio. Ignacio todavía creo que no está acá. Eh, Norberto. Norberto, Norbert. Present. Ahí está. Thank you so much. Eh, Marvin. Todavía no. Miriam Claribel. Hello, Miss. I am here. Hello. Thank you so much. Eh, Miriam Mosas. Mosa que está por acá. Ok, no yet. Pedrina, me regala confirmación, please. Present teacher. Amazing. Thank you very much. My next person is René. René está por acá. Todavía no. Eh, Ricardo, me regala confirmación, hello, hello. Ricardo. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, I know. Here as well. It's raining a lot. Yes, yes. Eh, Sandra Rodas. Sandrita está por ahí. Eh, Angel, 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 no yet. Natalie, me regala confirmación, please. Present. Thank you so much. Marvin López. Todavía no. Sandra Flores. Sandrita está escuchándonos por ahí. Cuando tenga tiempo, solo nos regale la confirmación. Present, eh, teacher, gracias. Present. Aquí estoy. Amazing. Está lloviendo fuerte. Wow. But thank you. Gracias, Miss. Thank you so much. And Ingrid Rivas. Creería que Ingrid todavía va de camino al trabajo o a la casa. So thank you guys. Uh, thanks a lot for your confirmation. And uh, we are going to get started. Moses, hello, Moses. Hey, Brenda, good evening. So our Hello, good evening. Tomo good evening. Thank you so much. Gracias por conectarse. I hope you're having a very good Monday. And let's get started with the activities we have for today. Give me just a second. Okay, so thank you so much. Then let me present my screen para que veamos algunas de las actividades that we have for today. Esta es nuestra segunda semana. You know, el tiempo vuela, así que ya eh, terminando esto, nos quedan solamente dos más. And that's it. You know, module number two. Module number four is going to be almost over. Danny, hello, good evening. Glad to see you here. Hi, good evening. Hello. <laughs> hello, good evening. So, El objetivo de ahora is this one, participants will be able to use demonstrative nouns correctly in a conversation in which someone is ordering a product from an online store. Um, previously, veíamos eh, la parte de buying, shopping, and I'm pretty sure que todos hemos comprado algo. Everybody has bought something online, no necessarily Amazon or eBay, donde necesitamos un registro. But probably in El Salvador tenemos algo llamado marketplace 
o tenemos stores, you know, more um, reliable, let's call it the way, like Siman, um, and other places donde podemos comprar online, you select the product, you read the description, and we buy it. So we are going to be, you know, talking about that. So um, I have here just before getting into this part, uh, tenemos un pequeño repaso del último tema that we checked last week, que era be going to. So if we remember be going to, lo utilizábamos para futuro, right? Um, can you give me some insight? ¿Qué se recuerdan de be going to? What do you remember? Yes? Future plans. Okay, future plans. Yes, thank you very much, Brenda. Anything else? ¿Qué más se recuerdan? ¿Cómo usamos be going to? Uno. Or what was, o cuál era la, la forma cortita? What is the short way to say be going to? Uh, gonna, teacher. Gonna, exactly. So we can use gonna for la forma informal cuando estamos hablando, or be going to, that is the formal way. So here we have, tenemos como una descripción de lo que esta persona va a hacer en el futuro, right? So allow me to have just a volunteer. And uh, so I'm going to take Anna. Hello, Anna. Good evening and welcome. Hello, teacher. Glad to see you. Hello. Good evening. Please, Miss. Eh, ya que le veo por ahí, ayúdeme a leer eso. Help me read it, please. Okay, teacher. Solo la descripción. Mm -hmm. Okay. Today I'm going to drive my new motorcycle. Mm -hmm. Then. I'm going to phone my best friend. And mm -hmm. finally, I am going to read my favorite novel. Mm -hmm. Amazing. So, esos son los planes from this person. This is what the person will be doing. Uh, today, I'm going to drive my new motorcycle. Yeah, es lo que va a hacer ahora. Ya es un plan. Then, como después de eso, right? I'm going to phone my friend. And finally, I'm going to read my favorite novel. So, hablemos un poquito de los planes para ahora. What are your plans for today? I know that you're having classes, but immediately, después que terminan las clases, no nos vamos a dormir. Well, I don't know you, but normally hacemos siempre más cosas, right? So we do more activities before going to bed. Like, for example, algunos tienen que cocinar todavía or have dinner or revisan las social networks like Facebook, WhatsApp, o tienen que llamar a alguien, or prepare breakfast oh, for tomorrow. A mí me toca ir a lavar. Exactly. So we have still some activities que estamos pendientes de hacer para ahora. So I want you to think about it and tell me, what are you going to do after we finish the classes? So give me details. Demos detalles. ¿Qué van a hacer? What are you going to do? Lo podemos usar así, like today, I am going to do this. O si lo quieren usar informal, I'm going to do this. Está súper bien. And then we can use uh, some connectors, like then, or finally. So, any volunteer? ¿Qué van a hacer ahora? What are you going to do today? I am going to um, realize a activity, English. Okay, complete. You are going to complete some activities. Okay. Yes, then, I, uh, ¿qué más? Then, then, then uh, I am going to shower. Oh, okay. You're going yes. to take a shower. Cool. Yes. Uh, okay. Then I am going to uh, prepare. Um, mm -hmm. Para decir, eh, de mañana. La... la ropa o la comida? Are you going to yes, cook? Yes, eh, podría ser eh, la ropa. Ok, porque podría ser como me voy a, decimos en español, me voy a alistar. Yes. <laughs> right? That is the word that we normally use. Uh -huh. Podemos utilizar esta que es get ready. So I am going uh, to get ready for tomorrow. Yeah. Me voy a preparar. Okay. So, yeah. no necessarily como con ropa, sino puede ser cualquier uh, cosa, como cuando van de viaje. 
y tienen que preparar todo. So I'm going to get ready for my trip or I'm going to get ready for my, uh, for tomorrow, right? Okay. Es como todo lo que tenemos que hacer para mañana. Okay, mm -hmm. I, am okay. Going, I am going to get ready at uh, work. Mm -hmm. um, I am to cook. Cook, cook. okay, you're cook, going to cook? Uh, uh, yes. Uh, Amazing, very good description. I like it. That was good, very good. Oh, no le puedo dar emojis here, but guys, si los pueden compartir, that would be nice. Uh, no me permite que compartirles. Then you can do it. Okay, anybody else? ¿Quién más nos quiere contar? ¿Qué les falta? Carlos, yes, Carlos. Um, yes. Teacher, de, a mí. A mí, yes, a mí. To, uh, toda la vez going to dinner. And then I am After going classes. to... Yes, yes. Wow, uh, okay. Uh, after class, then I am going to uh, one session uh, video game. Um, finally, <laughs> How many hours? Uh, ¿Por cuánto tiempo I am go go one session. One session. One hour? Or how much time? No, one session. Okay, and one session? Una partida. Una partida. Okay, and that can be what? Five minutes? Ten minutes? One hour? Uh, um, 25 minutes. Oh, okay, 25 minutes. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. uh, and finally, I am going to watch TV. Uh, ahí, me, ahí me quedo dormido, ¿cómo se dice? <laughs> and, <laughs> and finally, I will fall asleep. So, me voy a dormir. I will fall asleep uh, watching TV. Okay. Uh, I oh, okay. am, I am going to, se lo voy a escribir, I'm going to fall asleep, como ya es como planificado, entiendo yo, <laughs> siempre lo hace, so I'm going to fall yes, asleep yes. watching TV, okay, watching TV, and that will be it, okay, that's a very yes, good yes, one, so yes. you're going to fall asleep, me voy a quedar dormida, okay, uh, thank you, Danny, that's very interesting, so different uh, uh, from Ricardo's, a routine. Carlos, vi por ahí la manita arriba. I saw your hand up. So I don't know if you had it ready. Yes. Amazing. Do, Tell us. Do you listen me? Going to do? Yes. Yes, I can hear you. Okay. Uh, today, later of the class, I am going to make a cup of coffee. Wow. And then okay. I am going to check my emails. Okay. And I am going to go to my bed to rest okay. for the uh, follow day. Cool. What time? What time are you going to, to move to your bed? What time? A que horas? What time? Uh, before a uh, letter of the class, 10 p.m. Oh, at 10 p.m. Okay. Okay. So you're going to check your email, you said. Are you still working? Are you going to continue working after classes? No, homework. Oh, okay. So you're going to complete some homework. Got it. Okay. Thank you, Carlos. Very busy. So I'm being busy, especially because of the coffee. Uh, yes. If I drink coffee, oh, creo que ya no duermo. I cannot, I couldn't I sleep. Guys, what about the rest of you? It's relaxing. Pueden dormir después de una taza de café at this time? Yes, 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 three cups a day, no, but, pero ahorita, like, if you say, oh, I want coffee, can yes. you go make yes. coffee, and, and you, and you fall asleep normally? Yes, yes. In, in my case, I take a cup of coffee, and the follow five minutes, I go to my bed to sleep. Wow, you fall as no kidding. Oh my god, what a look the same for you. Yes, okay. <laughs> no, yo creo que ya la edad me está pegando. <laughs> because in my case, if I drink a cup of coffee at 5 p.m., I don't go to bed up to 3 a.m. in the morning. So, oh my God, I, I admire you and that's super cool. <laughs> okay, anybody else? Que nos quiere contar? One more person, please. Who wants to tell us about your future activities? I'm teacher. 
Hello, yes, yes, Guadalupe, please. Um, I'm going to the, prepare the, the lunch for, for tomorrow. Okay. What are you and going the, to cook? Um, I'm going to cook the meat. Ooh, nice. <laughs> Yes, meat and with, rice? With rice. Mm -hmm. Wow, that sounds delicious. I would like some food <laughs> as well. <laughs> so I don't have to cook tomorrow. Okay, so you're going to make lunch. Okay. And, and then I wash the dishes. Oh, okay. And then uh, I wash my teeth. You oh brush your teeth. Brush, uh -huh, my, oh, my you're teeth. going to brush your teeth. Okay. I and, and then go to sleep. Oh, okay, okay. But you don't have like mm -hmm. like bigger activities, just cooking maybe mm -hmm. is the, the one that is yeah. the longest. Okay. Guys, what about anybody else? Because uh, some of you, yo entiendo que están trabajando, you know, todavía deben de trabajar or go back to work or anything. Alguien tiene algo bien, eh, you know, difícil pendiente? Or is anybody going to continue working or anything? For example, Carlos is going to complete some activities after classes from the university. I understand. Alguien más? Anybody else? Are you going to continue working? Alguien más va a seguir trabajando or anything after classes? Oh. Yes, me, teacher. What are you going to do, Brenda? I am going, but after class, mm -hmm. I am I am going cook cook dinner. Okay. Eh, ¿Cómo se dice después? After after <laughs> after. Uh huh. Eh, I I am going to take a shower. Oh, okay. So you're going to cook dinner eh, and take a shower. And then I am going, I am going, mm -hmm. you're going to continue, you're going to continue, going to continue working. Continue to my work. Wow. So what time, what time are you going to bed today? 11 p.m. Oh, but just like one more hour. Okay. Okay. So yes. But okay, you're gonna continue. I also heard Natalie, I think. So what are you going to do after classes, Natalie? I am going to check some uh, muestras. Samples? Um, sample, yes. Okay. Uh, I want to check some sample from some patient in the microscope. Wow, very interesting. So you're going to use the microscope. Do you have the microscope at home or do you have to go to another place? Do you have to go somewhere else to do that? I have my my microscope in my home. Wow, very nice. Very nice. Uh -huh. I have never used a microscope, so for me it's very interesting. So what time? What time are you going to bed today? Uh, no, 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 What time? What time are you going to bed? Uh, I, I, I think uh, one hour for watch the, the samples. Okay. And uh, 30 minutes for making the report <laughs> for the clients. Mm, I see. So you are going to bed maybe around midnight. Yes. yes okay. Yes. Okay, got it. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that. Hi, Ignacio. Thank you very much. Hi, Thanks for evening. joining. I saw your message. I'm happy you're there. Hi, Rene. Uh, hi, Marvin. So happy to see you as well. Let me see. I see yeah. also Moses. Mar Marvin's. <laughs> Angel. Hello, Angel. Hi, Jasmine. Hello, teacher. Sorry. Hello. Good evening. Gracias por acompañarnos as well. Thank you so much. Okay, so let's move on a little bit. And here we have just a, one more exercise before we go into the topic for today, that is demonstrative pronouns. Um, the instruction says like this, put the 
the verbs into the correct form of future using the going to. Lo que acabamos de hacer, exactly what we made, you know, the exercise we completed, like I am going to, she is going to, we are going to, vamos a utilizar be going to para hablar de planes a futuro. Eh, for example, Ricardo mencionó que está lloviendo in his house, so it is raining. What I can tell you is right now in my house, um, it's very hot. Estuvo lloviendo some minutes ago, but va a seguir lloviendo. So creo que va a llover en unos minutos. So it is going to rain, right? Va a llover. It is going to rain, I hope, after classes, so I can sleep well. Um, so vamos a utilizar futuro para hablar un poquito de estas eh, actividades that are going to happen. So ya les di la primera, right? I already gave you the spoiler for number one. So that would be, it is, utilizamos siempre el be going to, so it is going to rain, va a llover, right? What about the rest of them? So what is going to happen? I'll give you like four minutes. Uh, si ya las tienen, me pueden ayudar con su micrófono y me van dando la respuesta de forma oral. That would be amazing. Y así avanzamos también. Si las quieren escribir, no hay ningún problema. Take your time to write them down. So if, si alguien ya tiene la dos, if anybody has number two, help us with your microphone and tell us, please, what is number two? I, I, uh, that I going, they are going to eat, sleep. Yes, I'm going to, they, they are going to eat, mm -hmm, it's two. Exactly, so they are going to eat. Ellos van a comer, right? Thank you very much. What about number three? Who has number three? Number three, I'm going to wear blue shoes tonight. Very nice. I am going to wear. So like when we say in Spanish, me voy a poner. Siempre que hablamos de ropa, utilizamos wear. Este verbo que nos aparece acá, que es de poner, de vestir. So I am going to wear blue shoes tonight. Super good. So, si hablamos de mañana, por ejemplo, ah, mañana me voy a poner un vestido. So, tomorrow I am going to wear a dress, right? Or tomorrow me voy a, voy a usar un traje. So, ¿cómo podemos decir voy a usar un traje? I am going to wear a new um, traje, no recuerdo cómo se dress, ¿no? A suit. A smoking. A suit. Exactly. I am going to uh, wear oh, a smoking. smoking. Exactly. Pero siempre vamos a usar la palabra wear para vestir, right? Si podemos usar smoking, también la palabra suit, que es para ambos hombres o mujeres. So I am going to wear a suit. I am going to wear a smoking. En el caso de un hombre, right? I am going to wear a jacket. So es como me voy a poner. I'm going to wear. What about number four? Number four. Like, cuando están enojados con su amigo, when you are angry at your friend, mad at your friend, y les piden ayuda. I am, okay. I am not going to eat Exactly. I'm not going to help you. No te voy a ayudar. I'm not going to help you this time. So, mm -hmm. that is the one. I'm not going to help you. O la forma positiva si es, I'm going to help you, right? So, no worries, yo te ayudo. I'm going to help you. But in this case, I am not going to help you. No te voy a ayudar. I am not going to help you in the exam. Por huevón, ¿cómo te diría? Oh, well, that sounds very Salvadorian, but it can be like, I'm not going to help you in the exam because you are lazy. 
So we can use the word lazy, que es como ah. holgazán. Mm -hmm. mm. because, because you are lazy, exactly. So it's holgazán. <laughs> so I'm lazy. not going to help you, or the, I am going to help you, so either way. Number five, what about number five? How can you help me with number five? Mariana, Mark, she going to, uh, no, she said, Mark, she said, going yes. to work home. Perfect. Mark is not going to walk home. Very good. So maybe he is going to take a taxi, he's going to drive, he's going to ride a motorcycle, but he is not going to walk home. Excellent. Very good job. Number six. Let's go with number six. Cook you dinner. Oh, acá ya se nos cambió la, el cassette completo. This is not a sentence, sino una pregunta. ¿Cómo hago preguntas? How can I make questions? ¿Cómo le pregunto, por ejemplo, eh, to Ángel? Hey, Ángel, ¿va a tomar café? Eh, ¿Va a cenar? Ok. ¿Va a ir a trabajar mañana? ¿Cómo le hago esas preguntas? How do I make questions utilizando be going to para planes? En el día, hacemos como un switch, hacemos un cambio, ¿se recuerdan? Are, How can I make are questions? Going? Are, are going? you? Are you Perfect. Going? Entonces, en vez de decir you are, lo cambio. Solo esto. Are you? You are, are you? Are you? Y luego. Are you going, are you going to cook dinner? Perfect. Hey, guys, are you going to cook dinner? ¿Van a ir a cocinar ahora cena? I heard Guadalupe said yes. Eh, let me see. So Guadalupe is going to do it. ¿Qué más va a hacer cena? Who is going to cook dinner? Nobody? Only Guadalupe? No. Breakfast or lunch? ¿Alguien más va a ir a preparar para mañana? Are you going no. to cook no. breakfast or lunch? No. Yo. Okay, Ricardo is going to do it. Okay. Okay. Nobody else. Okay. <laughs> That's all right. Number seven. Let's take a look at number seven. Here we have this word. Uh, biscuits. La, la voy a cambiar. I'm going to change it because es como un poquito más británica. It's a little bit more British. So, no es muy común and probably no la vamos a ver de forma muy común. Entonces, cambiamosla por la palabra cookies. Okay, so we can make cookies and that's perfect. So what about number seven? Can you help me with number seven? How would you say Miss, number seven? Yes. Um, Sam is not going to share her cookies. Exactly. Sam is not going to her, share her cookies. Or si fuera yo como, ah, oh, yo no voy a compartir mis galletas, no voy a compartir... No sé, algo, you know, como dijeran, yo no voy a compartirlo. ¿Cómo lo cambiamos a decir, yo no voy a compartir? I'm not going to share. Exactly. So, I'm not going to share my I'm cookies. I'm not going to. Exactly, I'm not going to. Solo hacemos el cambio en vez de decir her, como son las mías, mis galletas, hago el cambio para my. So I am not going to share my cookies, or Norberto is not going to share his time. Solamente siempre me recuerdo de hacer este cambio, but very good job. Number eight, pregunta nuevamente. This is a question, not a sentence. Entonces hacemos siempre un cambio en el verbo. So, how can we make question eight? Leave. You are going to leave. I'm so sorry. Could, could you repeat that, please? Uh, are you are you going to leave? You. Eh, You're good. Yes. Are, are you going to leave mm -hmm. sister house? Mm -hmm. That's actually good. That's a very good one. Le falta acá 
El apostrofe S, but very good, exactly. So, um, no tenemos sujeto, así que podemos utilizar cualquiera. Are you going to leave your sister's house? Is your brother going to leave your sister's house? So, cualquier pregunta, it's super good. Very good order, nice grammar. Y la última que tenemos, number nine, how can you uh, make number nine? What would be the question? <laughs> tenemos he. ¿Cuál es la forma del verbo to be para he? Am, um, is, or are? Is. Mm -hmm. Entonces comienza con is. Is he? Is he going is he? to Perfect, exactly. Very good job. Is he going to take part in the contest? I like it. Thank you guys for participating. That was very nice and a very good refresher. Fue un buen recordatorio este tema. So very good. Now, ahora sí tengo un par de preguntitas, but son más, you know. Um, yes, Natalie, tell me. Con la diapositiva anterior. Donde yes. dice your sisters, ¿por qué lleva la apóstrofe y la, y la S? Uh, acá, en esta parte de your sister, la apóstrofe y S. Ajá. Porque son posesivos. Cuando hablamos de, en español, decimos la casa de. Cuando utilizamos esa forma de la casa de, los zapatos de, la blusa de, eh, utilizamos apostrofías para indicar a quién pertenece y de quién son. So, eh, le voy a compartir acá, let me see. Por si alguien más tiene la misma duda, we can clarify that. No hay ningún es que, problema. Uh -huh. Es que esa parte sí la entiendo, pero, pero es como decir, eh, my mom's house. Yes. Pero cuando digo your sister, siempre la llevo. Eh, es, de hecho, es la misma, la misma idea eh, del ejemplo que me dio antes, de my mom's house. So, your sisters, eh, está, es exactamente, si se fija, la misma estructura, uh, right? Indico como de quién es y de qué es lo uh, que estoy hablando. De, uh -huh. La casa de mi hermana, en este caso. Yo también lo puedo cambiar, por ejemplo, a su hermano. So, no hay ningún problema eh, eh, en hacer el cambio. No estoy eh, modificando la idea, solo estoy cambiando como de quién es la casa. So my mom's house, hago referencia que la casa es de, ma de mi mamá, ¿verdad? Your sister's house, la casa es de su hermana. And your brother's house, ya cambió como la persona a quien le pertenece la casa. Sería la casa del hermano. Y digo, por ejemplo, oh, voy a ir a la casa de mi amigo. So yo sí puedo decir my friend, siempre el apóstrofe, porque indico que la casa es de mi amigo. So I am going to visit my friend's house. Mm -hmm. Pero sí, es, es como la misma, el mismo principio del primer ejemplo que usted me comentó. Sí, sí yo me, es que yo me confundí. Pensé que porque era your sister, tenía que llevarla. No, pero era your sister house. <laughs> Ahí me equivoqué, perdón. Oh, no worries, no worries. Pero sí, eh, yes. gracias por el comentario. De hecho, es el mismo principio. Tengo un par de preguntas para ustedes que vamos a discutir en grupos. So I want you to participate eh, in this part as a group. Le pueden tomar captura de las preguntas. You can take a screenshot, you can take a picture. Les pueden escribir whatever is easier for you. Y vamos a discutirlas como grupo, you know. So does your company sell products or services or how? ¿Cómo los venden? Los venden en internet, los venden en catálogos. Do you advertise your product? ¿Venden ustedes productos propios? La pregunta 3 dice, are you a freelance agent? Hay personas que son fotógrafos, por ejemplo, como servicio profesional, right? Este es el caso de Natalie, por ejemplo, que ella ofrece sus servicios de forma directa sin ninguna empresa. Creería que se funciona. Un freelance, I am a freelance, porque también trabajo de forma, dando clases privadas, you know, y no necesito una empresa que me respalde. Are you a freelance agent? 
trabajan ustedes como freelance, ofrecen servicios de forma independiente, you know. Richard, no sé si soy solo yo, pero no le escucho bien. Se oye cortado. Se como cortado, de verdad. Se corta. La lluvia. Sí, es cierto. Está lloviendo sí. muy fuerte la lluvia. Buenas noches. Or you working off the company? ¿Cómo? Tu compañía, tus productos o los productos de tu compañía? Mm, uh, uh, uh. Okay. Um, <laughs> yo, yo soy microempresario, entonces mi empresa. Ah, entonces, your, your company. Sell products. Ok. Excelente. Mira, bueno, aquí me meto yo, mira. Aquí hay una cama. Yo, mira. Hola, teacher. Ponga la, la, la imagen otra vez, por favor. No le pude tomar no, captura. No pudimos tomar captura. Solo queremos la imagen. Ahí está. Thank you. Gracias, teacher. Thank you very eh, much. Welcome. Usted la va a compartir, Ricardo. Sí. Vaya. Ay. Espérenme, espérenme. Bueno, te ayudo, si gusta. No ¿Qué tiene? Vaya, vaya, está bien. Sí, yo la voy a, la voy a compartir. Sí. Vaya, está, está bien. Ahí está. Ok. 
para que se vea un poquito más. Ajá. Ahí estamos. Yes. Vaya. The Vaya. first question is, yes. does your company sell products? Products? ¿Qué dice compañía que? Como que, que de, de, de la, ajá. Yes, eh, my company sell um, alarmas, uh, case, um, control remote. Solamente. Okay. Okay. I I sell yes. Okay. My product is um uh, books, uh, notebooks, pencils, um market, um pop, paper. Paper. Um yes. Users, early, and ah, quiero ver. <laughs> Muchas cosas. Yes. Y algunas cosas no, no me sé los nombres en inglés, por eso no. Bye. Por ejemplo, sí. the, the, the copy. Sí. What, teacher? Habló la tucha. Sí, va. Sí, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry. Ok, Tucha. Sí. Se ve viendo muy yeah, fuerte aquí teacher. también. No warren, Tucha. It's a reading, cat and dog. <laughs> ok. <laughs> ok. Uh, for example, um, 